A live look from I-70 in Glenwood Canyon, close to where that Grizzly Creek fire is burning. Highway is still shut down in both directions from Gypsum to Glenwood Springs. New evacuation orders went out Tuesday as the fire spread quickly through that area. Again, right now we know it's burned at least 3,200 acres and there is no containment. Jordan Chavez has been tracking updates from Glenwood Springs. Good morning, everyone. The fire continues to be extremely challenging for the crews here near Glenwood Springs. We actually rode in a gondola to the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park, where we probably had the best vantage point of the fire so far. From there, we could actually see where exactly this fire is burning and just how big it is. We could also see that rocky and rugged terrain that crews have said that mixed with the extreme fire behavior have made it very difficult for them to extinguish this fire. Now this fire continues to grow so quickly too. Just yesterday we saw it jump from 1300 acres to 1800 acres and then the last estimate crews gave last night was 3200 acres. It's possible that number even is outdated now because that is just how fast this fire is growing. On Tuesday crews evacuated the no name Lookout Mountain and Coulter Creek communities. They also put Bear Ranch on notice for pre evacuation and an evacuation center has been set up at Glenwood Springs Community Center. And now here's another reason this fire is challenging. This heat that we are in and the lack of moisture. The sun's starting to hit those canyon walls and dry things out. Temperatures increasing, humidity is going down, so we're going to start seeing more fire activity. And, and here's the wind. For this windy right here in town, it's funneling through the canyon, so we're getting some wind on that fire too. And of course, this isn't the only fire that is burning near here. We're also told the Pine Gulch fire burning closer to Grand Junction has grown in size as well. So we are continuing to deal with the smoke from that fire mixed with the smoke from this fire. And as you can imagine, it's making air quality very poor for people in this area. In Glenwood Springs, Jordan Chavez, 9 News. Now to the detour for the Grizzly Creek Fire. CDOT is telling anyone headed west to get off at Minturn, Frisco, and Copper, and then head south to 285 down to Poncha Springs, then go west on Highway 50. Eastbound drivers are being routed the opposite direction. Just be warned, people are telling us traffic is terrible through this detour. Yeah, I can imagine that. Okay, thanks.